Hi everyone. In the previous parts of bacterial photosynthesis, we had gone with the light phase in different videos and the dark phase that is fixation of the carbon dioxide by different methods that is by Kelvin method or by reductive TCA cycle method or by estel Coye method. So these all three parts were discussed in the different parts. Okay, and in this part we are going to discuss about the fixation of carbon dioxide by hydroxypropionate cycle. So which especially occurs in certain bacteria like chlorophyxis, a green non-sulfur phototrophs. So let's look into that one. Hydroxypropionate cycle, this pathway is very unique to green non-sulfur bacteria, especially chloroflex. In this pathway, two molecules of carbon dioxide or reduced to glyoxylate. In our estel coye pathway also you can say there are, are involvement of two carbon dioxide molecule. So here in the hydroxypropionate cycle also it is going to have the involvement of uh, two molecules of carbon dioxide. Here the estel coye is carboxylated to yield a compound called as methyl manonyl coye. So let's see the cycle. So here as I told you, this is an anoxygenic phototroph. That means it do not require the oxygen at all. So it uses the either hydrogen or H2S as electron donors. In this hydroxypropionate pathway, two molecules of carbon dioxide are involved to reduce that into molecules of glyoxylate. Okay. Now the acetyl CoA is carboxylated. That means fixation of carbon dioxide is occurred. Here is one. Okay, and one more is here. So two molecules of carbon dioxide is fixed. Now this estyl coa is carboxylated to yield methyl malonyl coa. So here is the one. That means the through the process of carbon dioxide fixation, the estyl coa is giving rise to a methyl malonyl coa. This intermediate is rearranged to yield acetyl coa and one more molecule that is glyoxylate. Now this glyoxylate is uh, going to be converted into the cell material later on. The hydroxypropionate pathway has so far been confined only in certain bacteria like chloroflex and it appears to be of uh, uh, very important in the evolutionary studies. Chloroflex bacteria is a hybrid photoautotroph in the sense that its photosynthetic mechanism shows the features of both purple sulfur bacteria and green sulfur bacteria. That's why it is very important in the studies of evolutionary. Bacteria chlorophyll A is located in the cytoplasmic membrane of cells of chloroflex is arranged to form a photosynthetic reaction center structurally very much similar to those of purple bacteria. On the other hand, contains bacterial chlorophyll C also and some chlorosomes uh, where you are going to have uh, like a green sulfur bacteria. So that it's a, that's how it is going to be proposed that modern chlorophyll may be a vestige of uh, a very early phototrophic ancestor that perhaps first evolved a photosynthetic reaction center and then received the chlorosome specific genes by lateral transfer. So that's how uh, this is a special note that I mentioned uh, the evolutionary studies of this chlorophyll. Basically you just remember this hydroxypropionate cycle it is enough. Okay once again have a glance of it. Here the ester coa is getting carboxylated giving rise to methyl malonyl coa. This methyl malonyl coa is a, an intermediate which is getting rearranged and giving rise to one molecule of estyl coa and one molecule of glyoxylate which will be involved or converted to the cell material. Okay, so this is very simple of uh, discussing about the hydroxypropionate cycle path which majorly seen in a type of bacteria called as chlorofix okay chloroflex so that's all about the complete topic of bacterial photosynthesis thank you